Yeah, so I decided at a pretty young age I wanted to be a doctor. And people ask me, like, how, do you, how, do you ha how did that happen? And how did you decide that? And I can't really recall exactly why, but uh, I was really living the American dream. I was uh, married. I had uh, two healthy kids, and I was doing exactly what I thought I'd be doing. Um, and I had been doing that for uh, roughly six years. And uh, that's when uh, I had my accident, and that's when uh, everything changed. So I was catching butterflies with my neighbor, and then I just saw um, the garage door start starting to close, and I started running over there. And I was just like asking mom while she was on the phone what's wrong, because I never had saw her cry at that time. I just saw my mom crying, and then when we got outside, I finally asked like what was going on, and she said that my dad was in an accident, and I didn't really know what that meant, but I just knew that something was wrong, and that's really all I remember from that. So Jeff had been T-boned on the passenger side of his truck, and then from that first impact, he was then pushed into a concrete pole on the driver's side for a second impact. They told me that he had um, I think they called it a hematoma on the side of his head, where his head had hit the concrete pole on the driver's side, and that he had a few punctured, um, a few broken ribs, one which had punctured his lung, um, and I had no idea what extent the injury would be um, in the future dealing with his brain. Um, I really had no concept of that at the time, but I do remember thinking that we can do this, we can get through this. Um, this is something we can handle. Yeah, it's a head injury. You think, yeah, that's bad, but people get over head injuries. You, people, get people get concussions all the time, and you know, they take a, take a couple weeks off work or a couple weeks off the playing field, and, and uh, they get back to normal. Um, we didn't quite understand uh, completely. It was this whole concept of um, after a brain injury, you don't always get back to where you were before. Remember when we got to the hospital, I went in to see my dad and I couldn't even walk in the room. I was too scared because the way he looked, he looked so different. Since the accident, um, there my, my dad has changed a lot and he cannot do most of the stuff that he used to be able to do, but that really doesn't change anything for, for me because he's still like my dad. And that doesn't really, and we're still a family, and it doesn't really change anything for me. <laughs> People always said, like, yeah, I see you writing a book about this someday. And uh, I kind of thought, yeah, maybe, maybe I could. Um, but I plan on doing that way in the future. And uh, when I found out from my doctors that um, based on what my MRI showed and based on some of the sim symptoms I was having, they expect within five to 10 years that I'll start seeing some significant decline in my function. And uh, uh, it's been five years now, almost six years. So. Um, you know, I know God's, God's going to do what he's going to do, but um, based on statistics, I mean, I'm not sure much longer I have to be able to even write a book. So I decided to, I'm going to go ahead and do it now because I can still do it now. So um, God's given us this story to use. Um, I know sometimes I refer to it as my story, but it's our story. It's my, it's my story. It's my wife's story. It's my kid's story. Um, but we're in the midst of a miracle that, that God has performed. And uh, I'm really hopeful that my book... Like my blog is I really help out people that are deal, dealing with um, not only not only brain injury, um, uh, but anybody that's dealing with, dealing with any kind of life change or traumatic event. Um, uh, I'm trusting that God can use it, use it in that way. <laughs>